Hi and welcome to the joys of Notion. Today we'll be taking this beautiful empty Notion page and turning it into a place where you can keep track of your art. I'll be taking you step by step through the process and soon you'll be making Notion pages for more than just tracking art. Now, before we get started, find freedom in this blank canvas. This is your world and we first need to keep track of what we want inside that world. And what better place to do that than in Notion itself. First feel what you want to capture. And in our example, we have a mood board, art tracking, ideas and art supplies. We also want to make it feel just right but you can change everything. So just relax and take it one step at a time. First, we'll add some data. Even if you're just making a template, you want data to get a good feel for the end result. Remember, this is your world, so you can move mountains whenever you feel like it. But let's get started with some happy little data sets. We start with the mood board. We want happy thoughts when working. If you want sad things, watch the news. Let's create a simple inline gallery and adjust the setting so it only shows images based on the content. Now, when I see something I like, right click, copy image, go to a fresh page on the mood board and drop it right in there like a waterfall. Time to give this somebody. We are going to create our art gallery and let's put that in its own happy little page so we can access it in multiple ways later. It's visual, so we are using the gallery for this. And let's open up one page to add a couple of properties and keep track of the rascals. First, we add select to keep track of state. Sometimes you have the complete painting in your head, but it's just not on the canvas. So for now, let's simply add concept creating and done, even though we know it's never truly done. We shouldn't judge people, but we can judge our own work. So I'm adding a property called love and creating these nice bars by using heart emojis. Let's fill the art gallery. Thanks to Gusta Boat, who was kind enough to allow me to use her collection for this example. A simple drag and drop allows me to quickly add everything. Now we get to ideas and sometimes if you do too much, it's going to lose its effectiveness. For ideas, we are just turning that into a header so we can type right below it. Now it's your world, feel free to turn it into a list or even a full fledged database. Let's face it, you can never have too many art supplies, but let's make it easier to keep track of what you have, what you want and what you need to get. Because we don't need to see our list of art supplies all the time, we are placing it in a page and let's use a simple table structure for this. Now let's add a couple of properties like type so we can later separate our brushes from our paints and a store so we know where to get things when we run out. I'm using a select for this one, but you could also make a relation to a central address book if you happen to have one. Finally, I'm adding a checkbox own and add a price field that I'm setting to euros because that's what my local store uses. Now I'll just add a couple of supplies as an example. Now that we have some data, it's time to let out the artist in all of us and turn this into something which is aesthetically pleasing and makes happy little friends. First, we create a few happy little headers and give them a nice color. Let's say some sap green and Perugian blue, and then make a few columns because every column needs a friend. To the left, I usually place links and other elements I quickly want to access. Remember that on mobile, this is always going to be on the top. Now we drag our elements and give them a nice home. And let's just add a happy little tree here smiling towards us when we open up the page. Now there is an empty spot in the middle. Let's fill that by showing the art we are currently working on. Create a linked database to your art database and what you will get is a table. That's a bit boring and we want something with a bit more color. So let's add a view, pick gallery and show our cover images. Finally, filter only on our active art so we directly access that which we're working on right now.
Remember our art supply list? Let's create a handy shopping list so we can keep our trips short. Sadly, this isn't the year to go browsing in the store. First, we create a page. This makes it easy to open on our phone during a trip. And inside, we add a linked database to our art supplies. Create a view for a simple list and be sure to add our own property checkbox. Finally, filter on anything that isn't checked and sorted on store. Remove the table view that we don't need and voila, easy to access shopping list on the go. Now let me add a few finishing touches, like an overview of all our favorite art on the bottom of the page. Every day is a good day when you notion. Now let's admire the end result. So I hit 500 subscribers and I thought I'd do something special with this homage to Bob Ross. Be sure to check out one of my regular videos over here. And if you learned something, then help me grow by liking and subscribing to this channel. Remember, you're awesome. Keep it up.